Hello everyone, um, so I've got a special guest today, um, just a heads up, this person is a little different, and I didn't make my bed today, but, well, here they are. Shaniqua, you want to come in? Shaniqua? Hello? <laughs> Hi, my name's Shaniqua Daniels, and I live in South Dakota, and we're rooting for y'all to come out and see us. Shaniqua, could you shut the door? I can hear the It's fans. cold in here. Like I was saying. <laughs> my name's Shaniqua Daniels, and sometimes I go by. My name's Greg. Hey, I'm Greg. from South Dakota as well. Um, I okay. like chocolates. <laughs> Mama always <laughs> said that life is like a box of chocolates. So, what more can you tell? <laughs> what more can you tell us about South Dakota? Not a whole lot. There's the trees in there, and uh, the rivers are nice, and trucks. Lots of tricks and guns. Is What's that the, accurate? I don't know anything about South Dakota. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is it cold up there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> What's my name again? <laughs> Shaniqua Daniels. <laughs> You're getting your personalities mixed They're up. You're getting fucked up, man. <laughs> Sometimes you get by Drake as well. Um, <laughs> I'm actually a sidekick to Josh Bell. I'm Drake and Josh. Um, I'm usually, I'm not Drake, but like in another reality, I was his sidekick. Yeah, I was, guess I was Josh Peck. But my name was Drake. That okay. makes sense. So, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so is it true that South Dakota is home to like feral rabbits? Yes. Lots of rabbits. Ferally. They just multiplying. Like by the thousands. Like did you ever have an encounter with a feral rabbit yourself? Um one time it bit me on the ankle and um I had to shake him off, and uh, yeah, it was really latched on there. Had to. It's happened multiple times, so it's hard to recount which one you're talking about. But one time I had to stab the rabbit with a fork because it was just on my ankle. And the other time it was on my elbow. Actually, it was a pack of rabid rabbits. They were. Oh, Bouncing around and shit. I was running away from them, but they're fast, man. Rabbits are fast. You gotta be fast. Do they have, like, I mean, of course they're feral, so, like, do they have, like, any kinds of diseases or. Well, yeah, they got rabies. Oh, okay. I guess that's what makes them feral in the first place. I guess so. <laughs> I don't know what feral means. <laughs> <Just forward. laughs> Barrel. Fuck, man. Sorry for cursing. That's not that's not the right thing to do when I'm Shaniqua or Greg. But I got this other persona that curses a lot. Uh, what's their name? Fuck. <laughs> what? His name's. Oh, What's his name? I don't know. Um, Chad Danielson? <laughs> Chad Danielson. Chad Danielson's a stand-up guy, but sometimes he loses his temper, man. Okay. Yeah. How about you? Are you any characters? Um. Do you have any, do you have any, uh, split personality disorders or anything? Uh, <laughs> no, I think I'm a pretty normal guy. <laughs> like, uh, 
Uh, let's see. Uh, hello, my name is Rod, and I like to party. Oh, nice. My name is Rico, and I like to party as well. Maybe we should have started it off this way. Yeah, probably. <laughs> we both need something that looks silly. We do, yes. Well, we're back, guys. Nice seeing you again. Davo and Brandon. Yeah. Davo. You like that name, Davo? Yeah, that's Davo. fine. It's like Steve-O, but Davo. Yeah, I'm not going to get sued at all. Good. But anyway, um, so big news. Um... Joe Rogan is apparently leaving YouTube. Yes, he's going to Spotify, I heard. Yeah. So is it they charge or what? Well, the thing is with Spotify, um, what it is, is um, they you do have a version where it's free and you just have to see ads. Oh, okay. I mean, there's ads on YouTube right, right away. Right, right. But, um... There is a version where you can pay to not have ads. Okay. And uh, I guess what's happening is, uh, yeah, he signed this like multi-million deal with Spotify. Oh, wow. Now what, what's going to happen is um, it's going to be available, his show is still going to be available on all formats till the end of the year, but the clips are still going to be on YouTube. But then, like, the whole episodes, they're going to go to Spotify in their video format. Oh, so when... Does Spotify currently have a video format? They do. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't even know that. I just thought it was music. I think that's how it started, but it's ventured into videos. Nice. But, uh, anyway... Let's see, what else happened? Um, yeah, that's the big thing, is that, um, Joe Rogan's moving to Spotify... He's, I think the deal states he gets like a hundred million dollars or something. And Elon Musk is moving to Texas. That's the rumor I've heard. Um, that'll be a trip. You have to wonder how that's going to affect Texas. That'd be dope, man. Yeah. See flying cars everywhere. No, just kidding. Yeah, I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know if he's on, I don't know if that's something he's even interested in. But. I really feel that like flying cars is almost more trouble than it's worth. I think you're right. There's Be not really a point to make up. We already have airplanes. Yeah, it's like people have this idea of flying cars that they'll just be able to go anywhere they want to. Like, oh, I can just fly all over the place. But it's like, you it's know. It's not realistic. No, it's like there's going to have to be some, like, route that people will have to abide by right. otherwise it's going to be crazy all over the place and exactly. i think you know, that already somewhat exists because of the airplanes in the sky yeah like yeah you can't fly into it like the ride it for airplanes already yeah. yeah and it's like i mean and of course after 9 11 that's just like you know things have to be super specific right but uh yeah and plus it's like I feel there would be, like, way greater a chance of, like, road fatality. Like, you know, say something goes wrong and it just plummets. Like, there's going to be way more accidents. And there's already the entire, like, road infrastructure that's already set up. And, uh... So, yeah, we would basically have to create a new one from the ground up. And, um that's way too expensive just for the novelty of like oh i can fly cars i mean flying cars do exist but they're basically small airplanes yeah and they're and for I, rich people and i bet you they're not safe at all yeah <laughs> even those little passenger planes aren't really very safe is what i've heard yeah, from, yeah um, people flying anyways but so um we're, let's see, I don't know, they've just begun to ease the lockdown. I mean, I was able to go into Party City and get these accoutrements, the hat and the wig. Yes, and I've noticed not as many people wearing masks, oh, yeah. even though that's not the best idea, but you know what? It's going to be all right. 
Yeah. Because I'm getting sick of wearing masks for like six hours at a time. Or even, you know, whatever. Yeah. Like, I don't know, I've gotten used to it, but like, um... Um... <laughs> it sucks, dude. <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> when, I, I do think when you're outside all day and you have to like be breathing um it's smart to wear them but like i still do wear them when i go into stores yeah when you're going into stores yeah and even when you're working it makes sense to wear one but it's it is a fucking annoying though <laughs> it's an asshole but we'll get out of this soon and then we'll be back to normal and that'll be great yeah you don't have to wear them at gyms and working out or like like when you're working out the people the employees i don't know if they have to wear them but they were i think but yeah. um yeah you don't have to wear i thought you're talking about the gym's restaurant they're not even open oh yeah they're closed man i do think that they overreacted a bit much um like i wonder if that frontier burger place is still open Frontier Burger, the gyms, basically. Yeah. Is it, oh, it's the fast food gyms, right? Yeah. It's probably open. Yeah, like... If it lasted. They had decent burgers. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Like, um... Um... Yeah, I haven't been there in forever, though. I think I discovered... What was it? That place, Earth Burger, not too long after, and it's like... Oh, if I'm going to go out of my way to go somewhere special, you know, it'll probably be there. For sure. Earth Burger's pretty good, guys. If you haven't heard of Earth Burger, check it out. Remember, you heard it here. <laughs> <coughs> oh, no, I'm glad coronavirus. <laughs> oh, my God. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... It's I just had an epiphany that my name is Savannah now. Oh, yeah. I'm from Savannah. Savannah my name is Georgia. Savannah. Jeez. Okay. What can you tell us about? God damn it. <laughs> what can you tell us about? I'm going to just say I'm from Texas. It's something I know. <laughs> and I'm from Texas. Are you sure? Like, try making some things up about you. Georgia. Georgia. I'm from Savannah, Georgia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the rivers are nice. The summers are brutal. <laughs> There's a whole man in clam in the backyard. What? <laughs> it's fine, Tom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the winters are harsh. The summers are brutal. There's a wild man eating clams in the backyard. <laughs> I think we're good for this episode. Okay. Check it out. Check us out on Spotify. Yeah, because we're gonna be we're coming after you, Joe Rogan. Exactly. That'll be the title of our podcast now. We're coming after you, Joe Rogan. And we'll both be pointing like this. Yeah. That's that's the thumbnail right there. Yeah. <laughs> Woo.